What's up, gamers? GamerDad here, back for another item shop review. It is Tuesday, March 21st, just past 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Canada, which means we have an item shop refresh. Want to give a shout out to my new subscribers from today. Thanks so much for subscribing, but because your privacy settings are on, I cannot see your name and give you a proper shout out, but I do appreciate your support. As well, thanks to everyone else who's already subscribed to the channel. The support you give me is greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into that review. So as you can see, we have the Dreamy Days Bundle, which includes the Slumber Outfit returning to the item shop. I'm sure we're all busy getting all of those challenges done, the Week 2 Weeklies, as well as the Process of Elimination. Don't forget to check out my videos, by the way. Lots of challenge uh, support in those videos. So let's take a closer look at this new bundle. And so I should say it's not a new bundle, but newly added to the shop. So here we go, the Slumber Outfit. This one is a bit of a goofy outfit. The Slumber Outfit is from Season 10. It's got two different styles. Comes with this, what I think is pretty hilarious, because I do have kids, so the Dreamer back bling looks exactly like something that every parent's probably had for their young children slash babies to help them go to sleep. We've got that Nighty Night pickaxe. This thing looks kind of funky, too. We've got the Night Flight Glider. A bit weird looking. And then we have the Dreamy Animated Wrap. So it's 1700 V-Bucks for the bundle. Otherwise, you can pick up the outfit, the glider, the pickaxe, or the wrap on their own. Now, for the rest of the featured items, we have the Immortal Sands Bundle. So the Immortal Sands Bundle includes the Sandstorm outfit, which has three different styles. I like this first style here. Then we have the Scimitar outfit which also has three styles, similar deal. One's got a mask, no mask with a hood, and then no hood. Then we have the Chrono Contrail from Season 9. And last, lastly, the Animated Emblem Wrap. So it's 2,000 V-Bucks for the Immortal Sands bundle. Otherwise, you can pick up either of the outfits, the wrap, or the Contrail on their own. Next up in the featured item category, we have the Big Chuggis outfit from the Slurp Squad set, Chapter 2, Season 1. Just that default style, and it comes with the Juggis back bling. So this thing looks cool, but this outfit is way too beastly and huge for me. I do not like big, bulky outfits. 1,500 V-Bucks. Next up, the Double Tap Pickaxe. So cool looking pickaxe. It would go great with the Big Chuggis outfit and just make it even larger. But heck, it's 1,200 V-Bucks, which is a little bit steep for my liking. Then we've got that slurp wrap, pretty nice, nothing special to it, 300 V-Bucks. We then have Raptorian the Brave outfit from the Honor Bound set, Chapter 2, Season 6. Now, to be honest, the last time this was in the item shop, I actually regretted not buying it. I could maybe splurge for this. I do have a few outfits I've bought recently, but we'll see. Maybe tomorrow I'll buy this. We have the Raptor's Way back bling, 1,200 V-Bucks, and again, I love this outfit. Then we have the Oathmaker's Axe. Oathmaker's Axe Pickaxe for 500 V-Bucks. So we also have the Fastball Outfit from the Three Strike Set Season 8. Good for all the baseball fans, along with the Double Play Back Bling for 1,200 V-Bucks. We then have the Slugger Outfit, male version of the baseball outfit. Comes with the Strike Zone Back Bling, another one for uh, baseball favorites, or baseball lovers, I should say. 1,200 V-Bucks. We then have the Grand Slammer Pickaxe for 500 V-Bucks. The Home Run Glider is also 500 V-Bucks. And the Skalaxis Outfit from the Bone Brigade set, Chapter 2, Season 1. Interesting look to this one. Comes with the Spinal Blade Back Bling, and it's 1,500 V-Bucks. You also get the Bone Fangs Pickaxe, if you like it, for 800 V-Bucks. The Neon Venom Wrap is 300 V-Bucks. So that's it for the featured items up to the top of the shop, and we have Cypher PK's Locker Bundle. So it includes, of course, the Cypher PK Outfit. So we've got a couple style options. We have the Empowered Reactive Style, the Empowered but No Reactivity, we have the Possessed style. Then you can turn the face mask on or off. So then we've also got the Oni's Curse back bling. It is uh, reactive. We then have the Cypher's Scimitar pickaxe. 
which is also reactive. We have Cypher, Cypher Strut Emote. The Shigoki Glider, which has two different styles. And lastly, the Dark Dragon Animated Wrap. So it's 2,800 V-Bucks for the Cypher PK Bundle. Otherwise, you can pick up the outfit, the glider, the pickaxe, the emote, or that wrap on their own. So, on to the daily items. We have the Jungle Scout outfit from Season 2. Nice and cheap at 800 V-Bucks, but to be honest, nothing nice about this outfit, or nothing extraordinary. We then have the Moisty Merman outfit from Season 4. You get the default, the blue, the orange, and the purple styles with that. And then the Mer Tank back bling for 2,000 V-Bucks. A bit much, in my opinion. We have the Duelist Grace pickaxe for 800 V-Bucks. The Whirlwind emote from Season 7, 500 V-Bucks. The Full Tilt emote is a traversal one from Season 10. It's 500 V-Bucks. We then have the Paddle Royale emote, Chapter 2, Season 3, 200 V-Bucks. And we also have some soccer outfits here. So it's the Choose Country Styles or Make Your Own Look. So there's two bundles, a female and a male version. The females are called the Premier Kickoff Bundle. So there's five outfits. You can select any country's colors here. Lots to choose from. You can select whether the scarf is on or off. You can change the ha hairstyle the tint of the hair color you can also make it metallic or not whoops <clears throat> then there's also some more options here you can change the vest pattern oops and then again so for the patterns you can change lots of colors here for the scarf the shirt the gloves the pants and the shoes so there's a ridiculous amount of customization for these outfits but really quickly we've got mighty midfielder free kick maverick penalty patroller net protector and field favorite so it's 3000 v bucks for that bundle otherwise the midfield strike bundle includes five male outfits with all the same customizations we have red card renegade tackle titan goal guardian breakaway boss and Chip Challenger. So it's also 3,000 V-Bucks for that bundle. If you don't have the money for the bundles, you can pick up any of the individual outfits on their own. And then we've also got the let them know category here. So we've got some gear. We have the forward field gear bundle, which includes the top trophy back bling, the world-class pickaxe, and the fan fervor emote. So it's 1,000 V-Bucks for this three item bundle. Otherwise, you can pick up any of those items on their own. So that is now it. It's a pretty big item shop this evening. From previous nights, we still have the Resident Evil Raccoon City Survivors items. Of course, the cross comms pack was added into the item shop this uh, last evening. So in terms of my favorite additions to the item shop, I do like Sandstorm. She's cool. I love Raptorian the Brave. And... Skalaxis is okay, but to be honest, my big favorite tonight is definitely Raptorian. So comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item is. Let me know if you're picking up anything from the shop tonight. Please drop a like in the video. And if you're watching and you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button on the reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. I can't do without you. Have a great evening. Good luck with your challenges. And until the next video, this is GamerDad.